So we've uh, gotten through the official announcement, the reveal of the um, Scream Punk uh, district in which the Twisted Colossus is now sitting. Um, and with the fun part, we get to go uh, ride the thing. So uh, I'm gonna wait for my allotted time uh, set up before this and get on the ride and see what happens. shock it was you know I rode the Colossus almost at the end last year and so I still had that in my head I wrote it a few times so I could write the story last uh, summer and so I'm still I still have the Colossus memory in my head and almost body memory really and so when I came over that uh, first drop you know which was straight felt straight down with Colossus, Colossus um, it was just so much more extreme it almost takes you back underneath the, the coaster it feels like and so the first shock and then you get up to the top and in Colossus you got up to the top of the first uh, dive and you were like ah, and it gave you a break you had this little half horseshoe that you or horseshoe that you went around before you took the next drop this time they've converted that into this aggressive turn and there's no you didn't get a break I was expecting the break so it totally shocked me uh, and then they, you go on the backside, and they're, they're turning you upside down, and uh, heavy ha bank turns, and it was just a lot of fun. And it was a lot of fun, especially to ride it in context of Colossus, because not only did 
you get the new thrill, but there, there's that nostalgia of riding Colossus and being, but just amped up a little bit. So, more than a little bit amped up. It was a lot of fun. Was, I, but, but really what I liked is that you got to immediately stay on the coaster and go up again and do it a second time. The, the length of the coaster is tied to two runs through it. And so it was just fun to do it again. And the second run is a little bit different. So there's a uh, more aggressive backside of it. And it, and it was just a lot of fun to run.